Look at that, guys. Lovely autumnal park. I'm in Krakow, Poland. I know that some of you guys like to see updates of where I am and where I travel and the things I see around me in my environment as I hop around the world. It's a strange rumbling noise in the distance. Um, I just had myself the, uh, by the way, it's Sunday morning here and it's uh, getting, getting colder as we dive into winter in Poland. And I just grabbed myself on the spur of the moment one of the best, if not the best donuts I think I've ever had in my life sugar-coated bun with strawberry and rhubarb jam inside kind of sour jam sour sweet jam and uh so, you know that chewy chewy carb of donut unbelievable um for those of you who are trying to stay off the carbs i apologize but that was just worth mentioning so i'm in a i'm in central krakow it's absolutely stunning around um all the all the trees are turning yellow and stuff and it's really nice but we're also hearing news of places going into heavier lockdowns and tighter restrictions. I've got my family in the UK who've just heard the news last night about going into a, uh, a lockdown. And uh, that means that restaurants and gyms and bars and cafes are all being shut again. They have been shut here for a few weeks now actually, so I've sort of gotten used to that restriction. I'm still able to walk around the town which is great but I don't know how long more that will be for but I wanted to use this little uh, conversation with you guys to, to speak about handling the current environment and this difficult year we're in I'm trying to give my my most well formulated two cents on the issue and, and, and share a little bit about what's helped me and how I'm dealing with it I'm spending my time here in a one one bedroom, one room flat. Um, nice place, nice uh, neighborhood, but uh, yeah, it's it's challenging not being able to meet any of the locals really. I'm able to go, I've got an office space here, part of a membership deal that I can go to, which is nice, but on the weekends it can get a little bit claustrophobic. And I imagine many of you are also watching this with a sense of Claustrophobia, perhaps isolation, worry, concern, uncertainty, all of the, all of that good stuff that comes with uh, living in a world of uncertainty and specifically this type of world where we've never really seen anything like this before. And everyone's walking around wearing masks and it, it all looks and feels rather oppressive and alien. And I want to let you know that I'm with you on that you know i'm 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 experiencing the same thing as as you guys the same the same worries the same confused bafflement of what's going on around us and um sometimes i got to sort of snap out of this feel i need to snap out of this dream every day is a new dream starting from scratch what is going on um you know in this this city of all places people are running around wearing masks it's bizarre you know this sort of quiet um, historical town in the middle of Europe. He, even over here, people are having to to act as though we're in a quarantined city, which of course is what we're trying to do. So let's talk a little bit before I ramble on too much, but I know that you love my, most of you like my voice, the sound of my voice, and my, my, my ramblings can get a little bit uh, carried away sometimes. So let's get into how we can best adapt and I'm going to try and keep this one short. I think as, as many of you who've, who've watched many of my videos knows like my, my philosophy and my approach to psychology is always brought into many of the, the topics that we talk about you know like how I how I use my mind how I make use of my thinking in a way that is actually beneficial and can take advantage of the current situation. So right now a lot of us are fearful and worried about what's going on around us and a lot of us are experiencing the stress and experiencing the emotional feel of what it is to be in this new world. The disappointment perhaps that comes from not being able to do the things you used to be able to do. 
uh, and you feel annoyed or stressed or, or anxious about that kind of stuff or perhaps you you worry about your friends and family getting ill and you know you're seeing that happening outside of you you're seeing those things happening in your circumstances whether it's people getting sick or not you're still feeling the worry of that feeling the emotional experience of that vision in your mind and the reason I talk about it in these terms is because that's really all it is we have to remind ourselves continually and this is what I have to do for myself as well is to remind myself continually that all your stress that you might be feeling and all the discomfort you might be feeling is all self-created don't forget that it isn't to do as much as it seems it does it is not to do with the circumstances we're in i know that we feel and we are restricted physically and geographically okay i've got a feeling i'm going to be approached by someone asking for money in a bit so this is going to be awkward but let's see how we go um it's easy to be thrown when there are people approaching, but we we look around us and we see how our circumstances have changed and we 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 feel what it feels like to be, you know, we, we kind of experience the stress of that, of those circumstantial elements in our life. And um, so it's very easy to kind of feel victim to what's going on around us and to feel like we have no ability to um, have any control, have any effect over how we feel and, and the stress that we feel we feel that it's you know it's coming out from outside to us and we can't do anything about it and life is difficult well we do have a lot more that we can do or rather not do in terms of letting go of what's happening and it's what's really been helpful for me is is realizing that if i'm feeling stressed and i'm annoyed at how things are going i have to remind myself that this is a, a response to my thinking this is how I perceive things. I perceive things to not be good and therefore I don't feel good. And you might be experiencing the same here and there. In effect, nothing has changed. Yes, the world looks different, but there is always gonna be uncertainty. There's all, no matter what stage in life in the world we're at, no matter what phase in history we're going through, there's always gonna be something going on somewhere that could cause you stress and annoyance whether there's a quarantine or not, whether there's a lockdown or not. There could be no lockdown. Everything could be going great. The economy could be flying, but you might be having the worst relationship situation in the world and you might be feeling awful. So it's, it's, it's all down to your own perception. It's not down to what's actually happening because you could see anything in a positive frame. Everything can be a source of opportunity, of growth, of, of learning. And so this is where I want to guide this conversation towards. Just to look at the surface level is to say to yourself, okay, things are different. Things could be perceived as challenging, yes. Things could be perceived as awful, yes. But how might this actually be working in my favor? Like, what can I make out of this? How could this phase in my life be actually a, a time for great learning and great growth rather than fear and... Um, feeling worse and, and, and decline. How could this be a positive phase in my life rather than a negative phase? Got the old coffee going. Um, so in, in, in my case, you know, now I have fewer distractions to be able to really hone in on my <clears throat> consulting business and, and, and focus on developing relationships through the internet and uh, do all of this in pure focus I'm able to spend more time on my content and all of that good stuff so there's, there's fewer distractions um, this is also teaching me about how how good it feels to feel and to be brought into the awareness of more connectivity with other people right now everyone is going through the same kind of thing pretty much so there's this there's this new sense that I've never really felt before of this connectedness with the rest of the country the rest of the um, continent and the rest of the world this is, there's this, this quite healing and, and, and fascinating sense of feeling connected to everyone else everyone's going through the same struggle those are just those are two things but if you can think over this and do a bit of a brainstorm or just meditate on it for a bit you'll be able to see how many positives and how many good things that you can get out of this there can be 
don't allow this to be a time for excuses and to because you know because seemingly the world is going to going to hell then then it means that you your life can also go to hell no that, that you can see it and interpret it in any way you like so you may as well um, string something good out of it string something fantastic out of it string string something remarkable out of this situation how is this one of the best phases of your life how could this be one of the most um, beneficial periods times in your life like what is it what is it teaching you how are you growing how are you transforming what can you make of this that is uh going to change your life and the, and, the, and the lives of others around you maybe you can write about this experience maybe you can turn this into a real project maybe you can simply sit in gratitude for what you do have isn't this there's no no better time really than to explore gratitude and to realize how much you actually have um, the people you have the successes you've had and simply being able to enjoy life around us even if it is a bit more restricted in restriction comes creativity how can you be creative at this time so those are a couple of things to think about just in a nutshell to go back to the main point don't forget that even though it looks as though things around us are seemingly bad and are having an effect on our stress levels and our emotional well-being, what's really happening is your interpretation of what's around us. And you're seeing things as bad and you're thinking things are bad and you respond to your thinking. You're not responding to what's happening around us. So in that sense, you have the ability to let go of those thoughts that are not helping you and to redirect your attention towards the things you can control, the things that are good, the things that are positive. You do have control in that sense, in, in which case you could turn this into a really good, a really good time for yourself. Um, good, not necessarily, like a lot of people think, oh, good has to be success in the traditional sense. You know, it has to be um, everything going right in your life, seemingly. Everything going, I mean, it's difficult to define it, but you could see a good period in your life as being something that's full of hardship that could be a really good period in your life doesn't that doesn't have to be a bad phase to be full of hardship it can be the best time in your life the more challenge the more strength you're building in yourself so something to think about guys it's nice to bring you into my world through this window into Krakow in Poland I'll I have no idea where I'm going to be for Christmas what's going to happen in the next few days so I'll keep you posted